On Tuesday, 20 more pro-Israel candidates endorsed by AIPAC won their primary elections in Georgia, Idaho, Kentucky, and Oregon. 149 AIPAC-endorsed candidates have now won their primary elections. All 59 AIPAC-endorsed Democrats have won their primaries, and 90 AIPAC-endorsed Republicans have won theirs. I want to draw your attention to one major victory this week. In Portland, State Representative Maxine Dexter faced anti-Israel candidate Shushila Jayapal, the sister of Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal. After October 7th, Jayapal called to condition and cut aid to Israel. She aspired to join the squad in Congress, and she was endorsed by Bernie Sanders, AOC, and J Street. But the pro-Israel community got involved, and with the help of APAC members across the country, Maxine Dexter won this race and is the presumptive next member of Congress from Oregon's third district. Together, we are helping pro-Israel candidates win elections and helping ensure anti-Israel candidates stay out of office. But there are major battles ahead. Next week in Texas, pro-Israel incumbent Tony Gonzalez faces a tough challenge from a far-right extremist who opposes American security assistance for Israel. And then we have two major opportunities to defeat sitting members of the squad. On June 25th, pro-Israel candidate George Latimer will try to unseat squad member Jamal Bowman. And in August, pro-Israel candidate Wesley Bell will try to oust squad member Cori Bush in St. Louis. We need to ensure they have the resources that they need to win. Please visit apacpac.org to learn more about how you can support pro-Israel candidates in this critical election cycle. And of course, for everything that you are doing, thank you.